Enter the shadiest duo in all of Derby City, Raul and Rudy, those locos. And it looks like they brought some muscle with them. You gotta respect this man coming to the ring now. He's giving me a funny look. I might have to slap him in a minute and show him what English talent's all about. I'll watch it for you. Introducing first the team of Apocalypse, Al and Raul Rudy Cruz Lucas. You'll tell Al Barone that I said I might slap him, will you? You call him that? No, 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 you won't say anything. I think I, I no, think no, 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 I, I, did, I it slipped out. No, no, I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about what? that fat girl on no, the outside. You said that about Alberon. No, no, the woman. He on hates the... me out here. Maybe they can uh, <laughs> play a little hot potato. That about Alberon. Well, you talked about a jacked up foursome. Let's take it to the intro. Their opponents, the team of the Alaskan Assassin, the Big Cat. Sonic and Fang! And we've got speed with Sonic and Fang, and we've got muscle with the Alaska and the other big two. He really is a big cat, that man, isn't he? Oh, the big powerful big cat. From the University of Michigan, of course. I wouldn't want him pouncing on me and getting his call stuck into me, I can tell you. I'd rather be outside here with you, and it really is a privilege to be with you tonight, seeing oh. as you're speaking so well. That. You know, sometimes I feel as if you're insulting me while complimenting me, but... This has got to be sitting better than sitting next to Kenny Boland any day, isn't it? There's a little more elbow room. Absolutely. And Rudy of Los Locos starting it off here with the Alaskan assassin collar and elbow tie-up. That side headlock applied. To see the Alaskan assassin feeling the immediate pain and effects of that headlock. Suffer that in enough months, you'll get a good case of cauliflower ear. Los Locos certainly know how to make your ears turn into a different shape, that's for sure. And Locos, this is eight-man tag team action. Non-elimination style, only one fall. First team to score a pinfall or submission victory will be the victors. And a tag into Sonic. Boy, I like this young guy, Sonic, man. So much heart. Brings it to the table each and every time he comes in this ring. 100% leaves it all out there. And boy, the DCW faithful seem to share my sentiments when it comes to Sonic. There's probably one person in the crowd for every pound there is on this man tonight. The crowd is packed, but he's what, about 30 pounds, 40 pounds in weight? Uh, I'd say about that. About 40 pounds. Pounds? Yeah, I could probably eat him. Put a bunny the side of him, bit of relish, bit of tomato sauce, and that's probably what I had for dinner today. Actually, I think he weighed in at about one, uh, 160, but here comes Fang. Fang, only 21 years of age, recently married, hoping to make his professional wrestling dreams come true under the tutelage of the hustler Rip Rogers. On a kick. The greatest trainer in professional wrestling today. That's why I'm here to teach all these people how to talk and also to learn from the greatest professional mind there is today. That is Rip Rogers. You're going to give Rip Rogers some... Uh, some oh, verbiage. Rip Rogers come up to me and personally asked for some lessons. Wow. That's the deal we've got. He's going to teach me all about wrestling. I'm going to teach him all about talking. That's the agreement we came to. I thought he was asking you for money, but nevertheless. Uh -huh. There's that arm boy applied by Raul of Los Locos. And the bad boys from the barrio of East Los Angeles. Did so you say Fang was married? Fang is married, only 21 and married. 21? I didn't think you could get married at 12 years of age in America. What a freaked up country this is. He is a grown man, believe it or not. He is weighing in at about 125 pounds. So much heart, though. Say what you want about Fang. Did so much heart, so much determination. Grown up man. He might be a man, but he's certainly not grown up. I mean, look at him. It's I've got the urge to dip my hand into my pocket, pull out some sweets and say, there you go. I'm oh, sorry. The big cat. Certainly all grown, you better believe that. He's a grown man, for sure. That's one big dude in the ring now. Did I just say dude? You did. Oh, no, that's an American word. I'm getting... Oh, We're getting to you, huh? Oh, no. We will, uh, we will change you for the better. Don't worry about it. 
or maybe for the worse. Oh. That has yet to be determined. And now the big cat applying this side headlock on Raul Loco. And a tag into Fang. We've seen the big cat tagging up with the Sonic Fang before in past programs here in Derby City Wrestling. So the big cat not afraid to, to uh, form a tandem with guys that are about half his size. It's a smart wrestling move. We've seen it before in professional wrestling. You look at the Bulldogs. You had the one man who was huge and the one man that was nifty. It's working well in this uh, instance right now. That is good wrestling psychology. Look at the Hart Foundation, the technical savvy of Brett the Hitman Hart and the power of Jim the Anvil Neidhart. So, Absolutely. very good point. Now tag into Apocalypse. Speaking of the Hearts, Apocalypse, a graduate of Stu Hart's dungeon. But as we always say out here, you don't really graduate from the dungeon. You pretty much just survive. You're lucky to get out of that place alive. And once you get into that ring, you're lucky to get out of there alive as well. I told you, I, my wallet accidentally slipped in there. I went in to get it, and I was pounded by about 12 or 13 guys. I'm still aching now. In fact, if you've got an ice pack going anywhere for you. You shouldn't be carrying your wallet around here anyway, especially with those locos in the ring. Absolutely. I better go and check it, actually. Where is it? Oh, where's my wallet? Maybe you left it in the car, buddy. Maybe you left it in the car. Oh, okay. And Sonic now cleaning house. Uh-oh, and keep your eyes on the big Italian. Oh, Alberone. Alberone just Pearl Harbored Sonic. And look, sitting in his corner as if he were never in the ring. Al Barone, a former bodyguard for an Italian prince. Can you believe that? I can believe that, yeah. If I was the referee, I wouldn't be telling Al Barone what to do. I'd just let him get on there, do exactly what he wants to do, as long as he doesn't touch me. Al Barone trying to remove the mask of Sonic. Five minutes gone, five minutes remain. Boy, and Al Barone, the real deal. One tough, very tough customer. A lot of men throwing the tights, getting the ring. And like the play tough guy, but Al Barone, a legitimate tough man, came up from the streets from being dirt poor to making his own way and pays his bills by beating people up. Pretty, pretty basic concept. And if there's anyone that thinks they're tough, then we encourage you, get in the ring with Al Barone because you won't think you're tough for very much longer, I can assure you about that. And he'll take you down to Pager 10. He will. Double chop. How about that? Los Locos. Showing their double team savvy. Another cover. Sonic kicking out at two. I just went to shake his hand in the back a little bit earlier on, showing him a bit of British respect. I ended up being chain wrestled for over 20 minutes and couldn't get out of the move. Still aching now. I'm surprised you can even hold the microphone. If you want to take a break, please feel free. Well, I wouldn't mind a little lie down and a massage. I wonder if there's any girls in the back there that could. Uh... Oh, what is this? Is this that... what we call an English surfboard? That surfboard stretch. Look at all the muscles it is applying pressure to, the pectorals, the arms, the biceps, and also the hamstrings and thighs of Sonic. I first saw Dave Fit Finney do that move about 20 years ago back in the UK, and they've perfected it to a treat now as well. That's a great move. Six minutes gone, four minutes remain. Rudy hitting those ropes. Ooh, and that's got to hurt. Rudy, the cover. We saw some of the agility by Rudy displayed there. Calls himself the master of the frog splash. El Jefe of the frog splash. So, And did you just see Rudy's elbow then when he dropped it? It was actually bigger than Sonic himself when he was lying down there on the map. Stop it. It's true. Don't ever count out Sonic. Sonic looking up, grew up liking uh, and idolizing competitors such as Dean Malenko and Rey Mysterio. And he hopes to one day have his name mentioned in the same breath with such superstars as those two. And the first step to doing so is here in Derby City. We and a big win here would certainly be a uh, small but very significant step in that journey. Did you just make a small joke then? Come on now. <laughs> he did. Seven minutes gone, three minutes remain. Come on, let's get them all out of the way. Do you think it's going to end in a small package tonight? What do you want to do? Oh! You want to, you Al with that belly-to-back suplex. There was nothing small about that move then by Al Barone. This man really puts the punishing moves on you. That just itself, grabbing you around the neck, hurts like you've never felt anything before. Oh, that oh. hurts as well. And a scoop slam. Rudy going for the cover. Two. Sonic gets that shoulder up now. And the crowd coming alive behind Sonic. And rightfully so. 
they know Sonic leaves his heart and soul in the middle of that ring each and every time that bell rings. So he has earned the respect of the DCW faithful. And I'm really quite impressed with these country bumping hit crowd here tonight. They can actually clap, and when they clap, their hands touch, and that is quite impressive, to be fair, for Americans. They're not primates. They're people. Well, I know, but, you know, they, you can't make any sense out of them when you talk to them. But Eight minutes gone, two minutes remain. Rudy of Los Locos perched on that second row. No water in the pool for Rudy. Tempting to make his way to the corner is Sonic. Sonic's so close. Tag into Raul. Raul gonna, gonna grab the leg of Sonic. No oh, an attack. The big cat with that <sighs> atomic drop landing on the, the coccyx and tailbone to both Los Locos and they collide heads. Big cat clean the house here tonight at the Davis Arena. This is one big dude, one of the biggest men in Derby City Wrestling. But is he going to be outsmarted tonight by the much smaller yeah. Fang? Uh-oh, the two big men. Yeah. Oh! oh! And that oh. football tackle. Oh, man, lined up. 60 seconds remain. We are almost down to the wire at this point. Big Cat. Dropping Raul. Apocalypse breaks up the cover. And Alaskan assassin taking out Apocalypse. And this one has just disintegrated into pretty much utter chaos. Referee is losing control of this match, but there again, when you've got big dudes like the big cat and Alberone, you're not going to argue with them, though. Could see a finish coming up now, though. This big cat has got intensity in his eyes. The what a spear. spear! You may be right, this may do it. It's over. Right in the nick of time, too. Here are your winners. The Sonic Fang, the Alaskan Assassin, and the Big 